I mean, because, you know, of course, for each country to country is make a difference. I'm talking about my own country. Because uh, as you see in the Western world, maybe the situation is totally different from what I'm explaining to you right now. Because the definition of internet uh, is not clear, you know, in, in our country yet. Of course, internet is coming, you know, to everybody's life, and people are trying to use. But there is many things about it because when you go, you know, in our country we are very traditional. So the parents are worried about the kids how to use the internet, so they care about. It. So they're afraid because they are not educated enough. So this is one of the area. So they will not allow all the internet come to the house. So that's what I'm saying. It's partly cloudy because you don't have the full access. Another thing is the bandwidth. We have limitation of bandwidth. So we don't have like a West, you know, the bandwidth available. As everybody you know, in Western country easily can access internet with high bandwidth. So in our case, of course, we're improving, but our bandwidth is limited. So this is partly cloudy. That's why. So you don't have true access of the internet. And another thing is the cultural issue also, which should be taken care of. It takes time to be adopted with the new ICT you know, revolution happening. So in developed country, you can say it's not sunny yet. It's becoming sunny, but the future is sunny. For sure, everybody is moving forward and welcoming. Of course, you already know that even in the ITU right now, all these visas are discussing about, you know, how they can educate teachers, how to use e-learning in the school to bring internet. So these are uh, very you know, hot issues in all countries, especially in developing countries.